And we are back with BRX Pro Tip. Stone Peyton Lee Cantor here with you. Lee, you shared this idea with me early in our work together, and I think it's uh, it's simple. I don't know how easy it is, but it just it makes all the sense in the world. Find out what your clients want and give it to them. Right. Business doesn't have to be harder than that. Um, it's, it's hard, though, to actually have conversations with your clients or potential clients and then learn what it is they want. That part is sounds easy, but it isn't that easy for a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, put a sales hat on and then just start trying to sell them what they have. I find it's a 100 times better to just listen to what the clients need and then try to see if there's a fit that um, in in order for you to deliver uh, whatever it is you're selling in order to help them get the outcome that they desire. And this is one of those things where if you listen more to your client, they will tell you where the pain is and what they need or want to accomplish. And then you can say in your, in the assets that you have as a business owner, can I deliver that outcome they desire using the tools that I have. If, if you can, then that, then it might be a good fit and then you uh, might be able to sell them something. And, and business doesn't really have to be any more complicated than that. I think a lot of business people go wrong when they say, I have this, you should have this, have some of this stuff that I have when uh, you're better served, just listening to what they want to accomplish and then seeing if you have a way to help them get there. And in our world, the answer to that last question is almost certainly yes, because we can meld mold, we can manufacture, we can, we can customize our tools to serve some very specific objectives and deliver some very specific outcomes. So to me, I just feel like we have a tremendous luxury given the flexibility and the power of our platform. So I, there's really no excuse at all for not finding out what they want and figuring out a way to give it to them. Right. And also it's, it's what you call it. Like if you say, Oh, we sell sponsorships and they go, well, we don't do sponsorships. You you're, you're ending the conversation before it begins, or we don't do radio advertising or we don't do whatever it is. We're, we happen to call it in our world. Listen to the outcome that they want and then explain to them how you have a way of doing it and you don't just sell the thing you have in the the way you uh, kind of are labeling it because that's not really relevant it's what outcome they desire that's the part that matters the clearer you can get on that the more likely you are going to be able to serve them well and it's highly unlikely that you're going to run into a prospective client that doesn't do more clients <laughs> like most of them, they might not do radio this or that, but they definitely do more relationships, more clients, more business, more revenue. Right. Right. 